Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Let me explain you today how do we use the analytical tool subtotal in Microsoft Excel. So for this, we are going to use this small data set. This is the performance of various employee from different categories uh, in terms of sales and marketing spend for financial year 18, 19 and then for 19 and 20. And uh, there is also a column talking about the sales growth year on year. So we'll use subtotal function and we'll try to see how we can analyze this data. Now let us first of all find out what is the sum of this sale from these various countries. So normally people put a sum formula at the end of the table but I would seriously recommend not to do that because while you filter down the data that is also hidden and you'll have to go down all the time. So it's always advisable to put your sum formula at the top of your table. So I'll say sum and I'm going to just select the entire column. So we have the sales figure of 242 crores. Similarly, we would like to do it for marketing. We would like to do it for sales in 1920, 1920 and these are the spend versus sale so I'll use the same formula here here and here alright so sales growth is 0% Q1 okay let me see what is the problem okay so this over this Q1 over P1. Okay. Let me just copy and paste it here. Right, so somehow the formula was wrongly copied. Okay, so I can see that uh, the sales figure from 242 has increased to 334 globally with a 30% year on year growth. In terms of spend versus sales ratio, 8.3% has gone up to 8.6%. Alright, let's see now in which country we have the best performance. So if I select for example France, okay, so it still gives me the total, overall total and you'll have to manually figure out, okay, if you don't know what is the average of this you don't know what is the average of this you don't know what is the average so you cannot compare your country specific data with your overall data for that some very special tools called subtotal so when you filter any data set it gives the total or you know calculation on that filtered data so what I'm going to do I'm going to add another row there it was our total and I'll say subtotal okay let me show you how do we use subtotal so i'll say subtotal and i would like to do a sum so i'll say number nine comma and then i can select the entire column okay and i'm just copying pasting this formula here as well and i'll copy this formula as well okay all right i'm so sorry at times behaves differently. Let me do a bit of formatting. Right. Okay, so and let me just do the grading as well. So currently you can see subtotal and total giving giving the same value. Now just go ahead and select any of the country for instance let us select fans only. Voila. Let's see now you can see the total here and the subtotal, I mean the total of filtered range that is 21, 21, 19, 21, 20, 19,000. Right? So here you can quickly compare that the business for France has grown up by 43%, whereas your average growth was 38%. But on the terms of marketing spend as well, initially they had the cost of sales is 8.2%, but it has gone up to 10.1%. And that's pretty high. Similarly, you can try for some other category. Let's say you want to check out in category and you would like to find out 
let's say how your mobile category is growing so you can see your mobile category has grown up the overall growth across the category was 38 percent but for your mobile is 40 percent and surprisingly the cost of sales has also gone down 9.4 percent to 9.1 percent that is pretty nice way to do that and again what you can do you can put some sort of uh, conditional formatting here as well so let's say i put in some conditional formatting okay if it is less than this then you put in okay else uh, let's do one more thing and uh, all right so and then you can put in one more better than if it is greater than this then you can fill in you know maybe they part of okay let's try it now if i do now with china see basically the formatting is done wrongly here it should be green so let me just manage rule when it is less than this then it has to be green i would say and not right because that is a better condition isn't it yep so hope you enjoyed how do we do grand total subtotal and uh, not only for some it can be utilized for some other functions as well all right so please like and subscribe our channel so that you are informed of our new videos thank you very much have a good day Bye bye